Summer is officially over. It is sort of chilly outside and extremely gray. But what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been a minute since I picked up the camera and recorder for you. I've been, you know, doing a bunch of stuff. I am, while I was just going through shit, just looking under my hood and whatnot, I had noticed that one of my injectors was actually unplugged. So I'm not sure how long it was like that or how it even came to be, but cylinder one injector was totally not connected at all. If you guys remember a while back, I had made a short talking about how I had a minor fuel leak. That minor fuel leak is now a major fuel leak and we are going to try to address it today. Not so major that like I can't actually drive the car. It just starts to stutter and like feel weird. And I think part of it is because I have like low gas in there, but it's a problem nonetheless. So we're gonna try to take care of it today. So the line for me that's leaking is right under the uh, driver's side rear seat. And it's, where is it? Let's see if I can find it for you guys. That one right there. Hang on, put my flash on. So it's leaking from somewhere over yonder. And we're going to try and take a look and see what's going on. Yeah, like right in that little cluster over there. So in order to do that the easiest way possible and not be on the floor while it's disgusting and kind of wet outside, I'm gonna take my back seat off because it's actually right there. Okay, so off rip, before I even really took anything completely apart, the line that is giving me an issue, if you guys can see, is right there. For me to replace this, I'd have to replace the entire line, you know, buy a new one, because Subaru doesn't sell just this one line separate. So I'd have to buy all three of these, or go to a junkyard and just try to find this and replace it myself. Or option three, cut it right here and replace it with a proper fuel hose so that this doesn't happen again. All right, so what I have pretty much decided to do is I'm gonna ugh, probably, if, if I can't take this quick connector off, then I'm just gonna cut from like right here all the way to where it's right up there and just replace that with a you know proper fuel hose. All right, it's a little while later. I was kind of lollygagging a lot, but I ended up having some spare fuel hose, so I actually cut where that gross piece was like I showed before, connected that hose, and now what we're left with on the bottom is this super long piece, which we're gonna connect to right here. And just like that, that is all fixed. Now we're gonna give her a quick little prime, start her up, see if uh, everything holds well. It should. All I really did was replace a metal line with a rubber line. It's not like I changed the pressure or did any crazy shit. I just stopped a leak, so it should be good. All right, let's see if I fix my problem. Essentially, that was really all I had for you guys in this video, it was just a quick little helper for people like me who have weird niche problems like that and don't have the time to look on forums because you have really bad ADHD. So, this video is for you guys. Now I'm gonna get to putting in these door speakers because Cameron gave them to me and I need some upgraded audio. So peace out, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. It will be a lot longer, I promise.
Yeah.